Hello. So um, I am getting ready to put my roast. I think it's a beef sirloin tip roast. Um, I'm getting ready to prep it um, and let it cook in the crock pot. Stop, Isaac. Stop that, Isaac. Um, getting ready to do that with my little toddler over here. And I have my potatoes cut already. I'm going to cut some more, but I'm just going to um, just kind of cut them up a little bit more. I don't want to put them in there that big. I have some broccoli and cauliflower mixed together. And, of course, my Lipton onion uh, dip mix. I like to put a can of tomato sauce in my roast to give it a flavor. And I have my garlic, pow uh, garlic pepper seasoning here. Um, which I use a lot. And I like to pour at least one cup of water in there um, as well. Uh, now, usually people put a lot of vegetables in their roast, or I don't know. For me, I usually put kind of a little bit of mixed vegetables, frozen mixed vegetables in my roast, but I don't uh, have that right now, so I'm just going to use what I have um, pretty much. And this is good enough for me. Now, my husband did choose the roast, and I, and me personally, I don't think that it's big enough, but, <laughs> but I will go ahead and cook it, because he chose it, so it's okay. Um, I'll come back and show you what everything looks like once, once I put everything in there. Alrighty, stay tuned. Okay, so I have added my tomato sauce, I've added... A little bit of garlic pepper seasoning. I added my water um, to that. And then I added my broccoli and cauliflower. And I chopped up my, I cut my potatoes one more time to make them just a little bit more less, <laughs> a little less huge, I guess. Anyways, um, so I didn't use all my potatoes. So I have three more over there too. So I think I'm going to just take the rest of my potatoes and make maybe potato salad a little small thing of potato salad or just mashed potatoes i don't know we'll see um so i'm gonna go ahead and pour in my onion mix okay And I'll probably take a little bit of water and kind of pour on top of that so it can also, you know, seep into or go into that my water as well. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on high and let it cook. Normally, it is done by, uh, I would say maybe, I'm really not quite sure. I never even paid attention. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, it should be a, it should be done because I'm starting at nine, nine thirty, so it should be done somewhere around maybe, maybe three, maybe three. I'm, I think I'm gonna put it on low instead of putting it on high. But that is pretty much it. That's how I do my roast. Um, again, I use what I have, and what I have is good enough. If you want to do mixed vegetables, you put whatever you want. Some people put squash. Some people put celery and onion, all of that good stuff. But I'm just the kind of person, I just use what I have. If it's good enough to go in there, it's it's going to taste good, then I put it in there. So, all righty. I'll be back to show you what the results are. Okay, so it is now 5 o'clock. <laughs> I had to leave and run some errands because that's what us stay-at-home moms do. Um. But I am so pleased with the way this came out. I was able to find some mixed vegetables in a can. I didn't know it was there till I really looked. And I just decided to go ahead and throw that in there too. Um, and it is definitely done. Because I'm able to take my fork and pull that meat. Look at that. I can't wait. I just can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yes, Lord. Yes, I can't wait. So that's how I do my roast. And then it has a that onion, that onion dip mix gives it such a good flavor. It's just crazy. It tastes so good. And I didn't even put that much salt in here. 
that garlic pepper season. I only put a little bit, but that, that, I don't know what it is about that dip, but it really, um, it flavors anything, any kind of soup, a roast, whatever you want to do with it is your business, but it makes anything taste good. So that's pretty much it. Here's my roast and my vegetables. So waiting for hubby to get home and I know he's going to be so glad to come in and smell that good old roast cooking. It just makes the whole house smell so good. All righty, I'm going to enjoy my little boy and um, get ready to um, take up time with him. Thank you all for watching my video. Um, subscribe if you like. I'm just real down to earth. I ain't trying to uh, be all professional. This is what I do. <laughs> this is how I do it. If you don't like it, you ain't got to watch but if you do, I hope you enjoyed it. It's just that simple. Um, crock pots are so convenient for stay home moms and those that don't have time. Even if you're not a stay home mom, if you just work and you're a single mom and you just need something, you know, to be done by the time you get home, you can throw your roast in here. You can throw your stew meat in here. You can throw that all of that stuff in the crock pot. And and get home and, and your house is smelling good and you have a meal already prepared and you don't have to worry about getting home and trying to prepare something. No, it's already done. So I think I'm going to do more crock pot recipes because I use mine a lot, you know, whenever I don't feel like using the stove. So blessings to you. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Thanks.